Creepy scary skeletons and shivers down your spine Shrieking skull will shock your souls Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick from Miss here and I'm bringing you another Mortal Kombat X topic video. Today's topic video is going to be kind of a sequel to my last one, if you want to say, because my last topic video was on new characters coming to Mortal Kombat X. This is going to be on returning characters. Now, I know there's a lot of characters in the Mortal Kombat universe, so I'm not going to go over all of them, just the ones that were in Mortal Kombat 9. Um, I'm just going to say who I think will be in the game. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to try and use bias or anything like that. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Baraka. I think Baraka will be in the game, and really, Baraka is one of the most iconic Mortal Kombat characters, aside from Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden, and, and you know, all them, Liu Kang. Uh, well, Baraka's been in a lot of Mortal Kombat games, and everybody loves him, so I see re no real reason as to why he's not going to return, and as far as my knowledge serves, he did not die. Uh, Cyrax? No, I do not think Cyrax will return, because... I've said, shown this in a few of my topic videos. Ed Boon heavily hinted against him. I'll show the tweet once again here. And if if Cyrax isn't going to be in the game, I'm not going to bet on Sector either. So there you go. Ermac. I think Ermac will be in the game. Uh, he has a perfect chance to fit in a story mode. Uh, he didn't die either. All the fan. He's a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite. So he's got to return. Um, Jade, no, I do not think Jade will return as playable, mainly because she's dead. Now you're thinking, oh, it's Mortal Kombat, they come back no matter what. Yeah, well, Jade's soul is, belongs to Quan Chi. And I know Quan Chi owns a lot of Earthrealm Warrior souls that are dead. And uh, I just don't see Jade coming back. Like, she's not really a fan favorite or anything. Same thing goes for Katana. Katana is also owned by Quan Chi, but I think she will return possibly as playable, but definitely in the story mode. I'm pretty sure all of them will return in the story mode, all of the undead. So Kung Lao, Nightwolf, Sindel, Katana, Jade, Cyber Sub-Zero, Smoke, Jax, Striker, and Cabal. I'm positive... If not all, most of them will return in the story mode because Sean Hemrick even stated in Quan Chi's reveal trailer that the undead warriors are going to appear because Quan Chi's going to use them in battle. So, just to cross them out. Also, Kung Lao, I, I get the feeling some kind of he will be... Um, maybe like a descendant of him will be playable or he might be the boss. I don't know, I just get a weird feeling he'll be the boss. Same goes for Nightwolf. I'm sure Nightwolf... One of Nightwolf's ancestors or some descendant from him will take his place. Um, Johnny Cage, eh, tough to say because Cassie Cage has a lot of elements from him and Sonya Blade. I'm positive Sonya and Johnny will both appear in the story. Uh, as for playable, I don't think they'll be playable from the get-go. Possible DLC, although I'm kind of neutral on them because I can't say they won't be in the game, but I can't say they will be. So, eh. Kano, well, hmm, I wonder. He's already in the game, obviously. Uh, Kratos has been deconfirmed. Liu Kang will be playable, most likely as zombie Liu Kang. Almost positive. Melina, sadly, I think she will be returning as well, even though I do not like her at all. I think she has a high possibility of returning because she is also a fan favorite and she didn't die. Uh, Noob Cybot, I think, I, I don't know if you guys know my Sub-Zero theory, but just to summarize it, I think that the new Sub-Zero is Bihan and the Solnado torn Bihan from New Cybot, so they're two different beings, so I think he will be in the game. Quan Chi is already in the game, Raiden's already in the game. Rain, um, probably. It's hard to say for Rain, because he's also a fan favorite. And, I mean, he was DLC. I have a feeling most of the DLC... I'm No, all the DLC characters will return. Except for possibly Freddy. In my opinion, all the DLC characters will return. Because Ed Boon put them in the game prior... Or no, uh, after the, uh, the original roster, meaning that he obviously wanted them. So he might have reconsidered them and will put them in Mortal Kombat X. So that goes for Kenshi and, Sec and oh, sorry, Sector... Sorry, uh, Scarlet as well. Um, who else is there? Reptile, obviously Reptile will be in the game. He's been hinted at many a time, and he's also a big fan favorite and also a big iconic character. 
Um, Shang Tsung. Eh, it's hard to say. Maybe. Maybe Shang Tsung. I don't really know what to say for Shang Tsung because he did die, but he's also Shang Tsung, and Shang Tsung's been in a lot of games. And he's very iconic. Um, maybe. I, I'm going to just say maybe. I have real no opinion for that. Shiva, no. No, no, no. And don't even ask me why. Sindel, I don't think, will return. Mainly because she died. And it was like one of the most iconic deaths in the story mode along with Shao Kahn and Liu Kang. Although Liu Kang has a lot more relevance than Sindel. I hate Sindel anyways. I don't really care. Uh, and I think that covers it I would think so yeah I'm pretty sure that's all the characters that needs to be stated so uh, let me down know down in the comments if you disagree with me or even who you want to see in Mortal Kombat X that was in Mortal Kombat 9 also don't forget to leave comment below on what you want to see my opinion on because it would mean a lot to me if you guys give me some feedback on what topic videos I should do in the future as always, this has been Nick from Miss. Thanks for watching. See you later.